Using laser cut kits to build modules saves a lot of time. Let me show you how I've done mine. Hey everyone, I'm Peter Borchards, builder and owner of FBNSF Chicago Sub and Inscale, and welcome to episode 10 of my series on building a new model railroad. If you're new to this channel, be sure to click on the subscribe button down below and click on that little bell icon to be notified of all my upcoming episodes. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how I built my module kits. Carpentry isn't one of my strong skills, so I thought it'd be a lot easier and simpler for myself to buy a laser cut module kit. This makes it a lot easier to put together the modules and it's a lot quicker. It saved me a lot of time and effort and um, a lot of stress on my side. I just hate doing carpentry. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how I put together those kits. I'm going to show you what the kit consists of and how it all goes together. So I've just bought four modules for now. Um, two for the lower level of my layouts and two for the first level of the layout. So at least I can get my staging yards done and then the first yard level of my layout. So let me show you what I've done so far. So here's the kit and this is what it consists of. So the first bit is your main top board, which is this section here. You can see that one over there. It comes with two sides. Then these are the cross pieces. So these are the cross sections that go across along the board. There are five of those. And then you get the two ends of these here. Now you can see they all come nicely notched so this is where the end pieces go in. So these will then just slot in to these over here. And then once you've got the top, once you've got the framework done, so once you've got these bits, those and those connected up, the top board just slots into there. And just using a, um, a rubber hammer, hammer, hammer it down, put a bit of glue, and it fits nicely on top of there. So I'm going to show you how I put it together. I'm just going to do a quick time lapse and you can see the process involved in putting one of these together. It's really quick and easy and I did um, each one probably about 10-15 minutes each one. Didn't take that long to do. So let's see what I've done. Now to make it easier to slide my boards out for maintenance and for construction, I've built a wooden framework. Um, this just makes a stable platform for the boards to slide out on. Here are my completed boards. Here you can see the bottom level, the bottom level staging, that's uh, 12 foot, so two six foot boards. And you can see I've already um, started the track planning on there, but um, that's more in my um, upcoming video the next video after this one. And 
I've also painted the bottom boards. You can see the top one, top level is still unpainted. And the bottom one, I've painted it with a gray undercoat. Um, now the reason for that is the garage that this is in, where my train room is, is not um, climate controlled at all. So I just want to prevent any moisture getting in from, um, you know, when it gets hot in here, it gets a little bit um, uh, humid. So I just want to prevent any moisture getting into the plywood. And I've painted it um, on the top and underneath as well, um, just to make sure that the plywood is all sealed. It's always a good thing to do that, um, even if you've got it climate controlled, just to prevent any moisture anyway. So that was really quick and easy to do. Um, definitely the method I'm going to continue using. It really saved me a lot of time. Um, I really hate putting, um, cutting pieces of wood and putting them together and building, building modules. Uh, I've done this in the past and I'm just looking for the easier way now. It's a bit more expensive, but it saves time. So the episode coming up is going to be on the track planning for my yards. Um, I've done the initial track plan, so I'll show you what I've done with that. So that's coming up next. To follow along with the build of my layout, don't forget to subscribe down below and click that little bell icon to be notified of all my upcoming episodes. So that's all for now. Looking forward to seeing you in the next episode. In the meantime, stay safe and see you soon.